Hi, welcome to Martin Hacks. This is the fourth video of a series of videos on how to structure innovation. And I think this is a really, really important question. I have been asking groups on Facebook, on LinkedIn about what is the number one question that they will need to resolve. And the number one question is how the different ways of working that we have, they come together to unlock innovation. So how design thinking, agile, lean, they all, instead of fighting, they are actually complementing each other in an innovation journey. I have talked about that more extensively on a previous video, so please check the link below. Today we're going to talk about what are the events that we, um, what are the triggers and events that we have in this innovation journey that will allow us and tell us where we are in the innovation journey. So a little bit of a recap, please go through the videos about the mindset, about the core, about the different ways of working. Now, when we are starting the innovation journey and we are starting with who is our customer and we are using, for example, design thinking. So one of our first things is to see what is the problem, okay? So one of the first events we will have, let's call it PS, is a problem statement, okay? We, we find a problem, we find a painful circumstance, okay? Another part of, of um, the design thinking process will be to come up with a, uh, with a tested idea. Let's call it TY. Tested idea. So we have come up with a lot of ideas, we have prioritized them, we have created prototypes or uh, artifacts for test, and we have said, okay, this, this may work. This, we think it may work. At the same time, we need to run strategy and, and, they, and we need to find out is this feasible? Do we have the right resources uh, to build this? Is this something that we can build at the right price? Is there a market for it? What are our competitors? Are we reinventing the wheel? What is the business model? So when we have coupled the design thinking process with the strategy process, we will come up with something what we may call a minimum viable concept. So MDC, minimum viable concept really important we really have nailed the design with the strategy okay when we have that we actually need to produce we actually need to develop the product and i know for startups that's maybe bootstrapping and so on but most people will actually have to develop a little bit more complicated products still what we want is to develop the minimum set of features that we can put into the market to test our hypothesis, okay? So still, it's a very high risk uh, phase. But to create, to go from that minimum viable concept to the minimum viable product, we need to develop, okay? We need to develop. This is a different cycle, so we have gone through business, so we have gone through design business, now we need to develop. Okay. For developing, we have one of the best frameworks that we know is Agile. Agile will allow your development team to get up to speed and to develop a minimum set of features. When we have a minimum viable product, we need to put it into the market. Okay. We launch to market and then that's where the Lean Startup and Growth Hacking will allow us to not do depth, but to do depth ops and not only to do DevOps, but to do actually biz DevOps. So we are really now working as a small company. We are really testing, uh, measuring what, what is working, uh, learning about it, and building a new set of feature around that. So this is, again, really, really uh, important phase that will have some key, metric, uh, key metrics that will uh, rocket your, your startup. Now, when we have come up to a phase where we are going really fast, but at some point, things will start to slow down, okay? So this um, sort of phase where the product adoption slows down, we, we can call it saturation, okay? When we have a little bit of more of a saturation, that also means that we have our, uh, achieved uh, quite a substantial market share. And that will also mean that our company has grown to a certain, uh, certain size. When company has grown to a certain size, we know that Lean is our best tools to improve bottom line productivity and reduce waste in our supply chain. 
So these are some of the events that you are going to encounter on any innovation journey. Now, as a corporation, many of them uh, come to me asking, okay, but we are here, okay, how do we take the journey again? Because we did this journey long time ago, but we need to enable innovation again. It's come from, it comes from top management, we need to innovate, the stock market wants uh, innovation, we have a budget, but we don't know how. So in the next videos, I'm going to uh, focus particularly on an existing company or corporation. And what are the right questions we can do to enable innovation again? So this is really interesting for most of, uh, of people working on any type of company. And this is what I will be talking in the next video. So please subscribe and stay tuned. Um, check the links below. I have templates like this for your teams on my website. And yeah, I really look forward to continuing the discussion. Please uh, stay tuned, subscribe. See you very soon.